can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it, I can I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it, I can I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it, I can I can see it, I can hear it, I can feel it, I can I can't explain it, but I know that it's major I can't explain it, but I know that it's major. I can't explain it, but I know that it's major. I can't explain it, but I know that it's major.
be set. I'm so happy, amen, as the wife have already said, amen. She said that uh, they're all our children. I'm so glad to have all of our children in the building on tonight, amen. We're so glad to have you in this place tonight, amen. And uh, most of all, I'm so happy to have the preacher with us tonight, amen. Amen. There's, there's something about preaching, amen, that stirred my heart. Amen. And this young man, amen, is no stranger to me. I've known him, amen, before he was formed in his mother's womb. Amen. I've known him since he was a baby. Amen. And I'm so happy, amen, it gives me great pleasure to bring to you all the way from Fort, uh, what did I say? from Dallas, amen, from Texas, amen, uh, by way of the Fort Smith, amen, Arkansas, amen, the proud pastor, amen, of the historical Next Street Missionary Baptist Church. I give to you tonight my son, amen, one of the Lord's greatest preachers, Pastor Cedric L. Carter. Come in his own way, amen. that he has done. I welcome you and I greet you in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. I welcome all of you who are visiting with us by way of social media tonight, those who are visiting with us by way of Instagram, Twitter, also by Facebook Live. I welcome you, Main Street, I welcome you into this house of worship on tonight. I welcome all of you who are present, who are in person, face to face tonight. We welcome you into the house of the Lord on tonight. Amen. Amen. If you don't mind just standing to your feet this this night and giving God your very best praise Amen. and giving God your very best Amen. worship God tonight. Come on, that was good for me. But what about God? Come on, give God your very best praise on tonight. Amen. Out of here some hallelujahs. Out of here some thank you, Jesus. I see some fire online. Come on, Main Street. I see you online tonight. I need to see some fire tonight. Come on, if you are in person, you ought to just keep those hands going tonight like you are at a ball game, like this is your last opportunity. You ought to be giving God a head clap of praise on tonight. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Eternal God, our Father, how we thank you. God, we thank you for another day, another hour, another week, another month, another day that you have created for all of us. Now, Father, it is simply preaching time. God, they didn't come to see Cedric, but they came to hear a word from on high. Now, Father, I ask that you would feed them like none other, God. Allow them to lead this service, God, knowing and knowing that they have had a true encounter with thee. It is in thee, O oh Lord, we put all of our trust. And our trust is only in Christ Jesus. In his name we do pray. And all of God's people said together, Amen. Amen. I bring you greetings from the historic Main Street Missionary Baptist Church by way of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Amen. We want to welcome you tonight, and I am welcoming all the members of the historic Main Street Missionary Baptist Church who are online tonight. I need you to continuously to like, share, and tag tonight. I need you to continue to like, share, and tag, and invite tonight if you would be so kind. Work them cell phones like you have never worked them before. <laughs> Amen. Listen, I want to go ahead while we still have our musician for the next five minutes. Oh, they already gone. Well, let, let me go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Isaiah. Our scripture reading tonight comes from Isaiah. Yeah. The 43rd chapter in verses 18 through 19. If you don't mind standing, amen. 
Amen. Ninth Street, if you don't mind typing that in the comment section tonight, Isaiah 43, verse 18 through 19. Yeah. Amen. Hey, when you have it in the sanctuary, just say, I got it. Amen. Anybody that don't have it, just say, hold, hold up. Wait a minute. Amen. Amen. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, verse 18 through 19. And it reads, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, Zeke Johnson, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up, Alex. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Can I just repeat this tonight because y'all ain't said nothing in the sanctuary. Oh Lord. Forget yeah, yeah. the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, Beverly Willis, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it, Kenya? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Just for a little while, I want to speak from the subject title. Move on so you can move up. Move on so you can move up. Hear me today. Yeah. Move on. Move you can on. type it in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. Move, on. move on. So you can move Amen. up. All right. All right. There, there's an Arab proverb that states you should write the bad things that happen to you in the sand. So that you, or so that they can be easily erased from your memory. No, sir. However, most of us mm -hmm. engrave the bad things yeah. that happen to us in marble. Uh -huh. Therefore, our painful memories yeah, yeah. remain immoralized in our minds. And in order to live fully in the present and adequately plan for the future, we need to learn what we can from the painful memories of our past and then let those memories Simply go. Come, sir. And I think on tonight, I need to help somebody that's in this room that's on live, mm -hmm. that's looking at me face to face. Yeah. Whoever's in, in face on Facebook land on tonight, whoever's in new faith on tonight, yeah. I need to help you. It's almost a new year. Uh -huh. And I think I need to tell you to stop walking around with our failures, with our mistakes, with our disappointments, mm -hmm. yes, and our hurts from the past that have shackled our ankles and weighed us down. Yes, Somebody ought to be shouting in the room yes. because you've been walking around with your failures. You've been walking around with your mistakes. You've been walking around with your disappointments. You've been walking around with all of your hurts from the past 
that have simply shackled your ankles. And since they shackled your ankles, they've been weighing you, Damn. weighing you down. Preach Carter. You've been in the wrong place. Yes, you've been in a bad spot. You've been in a bad position. Yeah. And you've had some bad situations. Well, you've literally had some hard times. Hard time. Some bad times. And some tough times. But I need to tell you tonight. Tell us. It's time, time to move on so you can literally move up. Right. And I need to ask somebody tonight. Are you ready to move on yes, so that you can move up? I know your past been holding you back. I know your past been holding you down. I know you've been looking over your shoulder. But I need to ask somebody that's in the room tonight. Are you ready to move on? So that you can literally move up. It is. It is here that God declares. That he will send. For his people. In Babylon. And compel the Galdeans. To release them. He is. He is the God of. The exodus of Egypt. And who parts the sea. And drowns. Enemies, armies. Yes, it is God who, who promises his exiled people yeah. a new work on today. All right. Well, but there's no need, there's no need to, to look back to the past. Preach God. Because the same God, same God is even now at work in your very present. Yes, right God, God is about to do a new thing. He is going to bring back his people from exile to uh, into Babylon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he will, he will make a way across the wilderness. Uh -huh. Protect them from the attacks by wild animals. Well. And provide rivers for their refreshments. Uh -huh. Now that's the story. Well. Now let's see what the Lord is wanting to say to us on. <laughs> On tonight. Come on now. All right, all right. If you don't get anything else out of tonight's message, I simply need you to get the thematic thrust of tonight's message. What? What? And somebody says, What is the thematic thrust? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. The thematic thrust tonight is don't worry about your past. Right. Just, worry about your past. Just worry about your future. Right. If you don't get nothing else out of tonight's message, right. don't worry. About your past. Well, Just worry what? about your future. All right, all right. The first thing I want to point out to you tonight, the first principle that I want to give you is the word reminder. Everybody say reminder tonight. Reminder. The reminder not to remember the former things. That's right. That's the right. text, the text, the text yeah, says, yeah. Do, not do not remember the former things. Come on. It is Isaiah who writes prophetically uh -huh. to Israel. Right. And they were mirrored in the desperate circumstances of captivity uh -huh. and exile. They, they, they were mirrored, meaning they were stuck like in mud. And I need to tell somebody tonight, uh -huh. a lot of us are just like these folks. Uh, these these folks who are who are now in captivity, who are in exile tonight, we're we're stuck in mud, and I don't know what's keeping you in mud tonight. I don't know if it's the man, if it's the woman, if it's the job, if it's the children, but there's something tonight that's literally keeping you in the mud. Tell somebody tonight, I want to get out of the mud. God, God wants to put their eyes. On the new work. Get this. He wants to put their eyes. What? On the new work. That he will. That's it. Do. That's it. Yeah. So it begins with a. Reminder. To not remember. The former things. Mm. All right. And if they. If they are stuck. Get this tonight. If they are stuck. What? In the failure. And sin and discouragement of the past what? they will never ever go forward they will never ever move to the new thing 
that God has for them. I need to help you tonight. If you continue to look over your shoulder at the past, if you continue to, to, to go back to the individuals that you used to hang with in your past, chances are you will never ever move forward because you are, you are always paying attention to what used to take place. I need to tell somebody tonight, I know you was born in 1970. I know you was born in 80. I know you was born in 60. But God has given us 2021. And here it is tonight. You need to stop looking at 1970. I understand. You know where you came from. But baby, you need to go ahead and push forward. That's, that's a word for somebody up in new faith tonight. Push forward. And God told me to tell you to forget about what took place in 2020. Forget about who was talking about you. Forget who didn't want to see you succeed. Who didn't want to see you with the promotion. Forget who's hating on you. Preach, Carter. Your haters are nothing but a step ladder to your success. And I need to help somebody tonight because you've been trying to get to your success. And the reason why you ain't been getting to your success tonight is because you ain't been using your enemies or your haters as a step ladder tonight. And I need somebody that don't mind walking up the step ladder with me. Come on. Forget. Let's go. Yeah. Who's hating on you? Yeah. Forget them. Forget them. Because they're nothing Ooh. but a step left to your success. Your success. And I've been trying to get from step one to step two to step three and on to step four. I've been trying to get to my rooftop. Well, and is there anybody in this room tonight that's simply been trying to get to your rooftop? Yeah. Amen. You've been at step one for a mighty long time trying uh, to get to step two. And the only reason you're at step number one is because you've been let these yeah, low yeah. down, dirty scum boogers hold you down tonight. You need to tell them, I'm moving on so I can move. By the name of David, David Gissick, David Gissick says, it is a fascinating and instructive switch between Isaiah 43 and 16 through 17 and Isaiah 43 and 18. In Isaiah 43 and 16 and 17, Israel is told to look to the past by remembering the great things God did for them at the Red Sea. Watch this. But in Isaiah 43 and 18, they are told, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. What are you saying, Reverend Carter? This shows us that there is a sense in which we must remember the past. Yeah, uh-huh. In terms of God's great work on our behalf, you ought to be looking back at your past and thanking God for the great work that he's performed. You ought to be thanking God that you're not laying six feet under. You ought to be glad that you're standing on top of the dirt and the dirt ain't standing on top of you. You ought to be thanking God tonight that you ain't got to lay on your side with tools in your nose. You ought to be thanking God. Preach, God up. Preach it in. Yeah. He says, there's also a sense in which we must forsake and forget the past with all of its discouragement and with all of this defeat. Move on to 
what God has yeah. for us in the future. All right, all right. And that's what I'm looking at tonight. Go. I'm looking at a bunch of success stories. All right. I'm looking at what God, some people that God is about to do some mighty things for Help in us. the future. Help us. I'm looking at some new CEOs in the room. I'm looking at some financial wealth and I'm looking at some hope. I'm looking at lenders and not borrowers.
I'll say it again. God is trying to release you from something or someone. And you are steadily holding on onto that something or someone who has stopped holding on to you. God been trying to get that old couch out your house. But you're still holding on to it. God's been trying to release the car out your possession. But you're still holding on to it. You still want to drive it. But he's trying to he's trying to take you in a whole nother direction. And I need you to know tonight. Some of y'all have been sitting on God in 2020. And God has literally been trying to get you to begin raising your hands. He has begun to, he has literally been trying to get you to say amen. He has been trying to get you to shout hallelujah. He says maybe in 2021 I can get them to move hallelujah. forward. Some of us are working against the new thing that God is trying to give us. Tell somebody that's me. Tell somebody that's me. Watch this. When you are going against God and God's plan, you will fail. Every time. Caught up. Every time. Caught up. Well, well, well. Oh, I'm going to make a claim. I got you. When you are going against God and God's plan, you will fail every time. I wrote in my notes, get loud right here, Cedric Carter, because they don't sit on you. When you are going against God's plan, you will fail every time. That's why I love Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, for I know the plan for you in Christ Jesus. Plans not to harm you or hurt you, but give you hope and a future. future. I have something in mind and in store for you. Yes, sir. So, here's the third principle. The question. Everybody say the question. The question, the question of you not knowing it. The text. The text says, what? do you not perceive it? Well, or shall you not know it? What? Let me say it again. Do you not perceive it? Well, not know it. Or shall you not know it? Uh -huh. It is God. Well, who asked the question? He asked this question today. Will you stay in step with my spirit? What? When he leads you into something new, shall you not know it? Uh -huh. God is asking us all a simple question. What? He says, Do you trust me well, well. to lead? He says, do you trust me to lead you? God wants to hear from you tonight. And he asks us a simple question. Do you trust me to lead you? And I need to ask you this for God tonight. Do you trust God enough for God to lead you? Well, if you say you trust him like you say you do, why don't you take your hands off the wheel tonight? <laughs> when you trust him, you will find peace. You will find comfort. You will find joy. And you will find strength. It is in Proverbs 3 and 5. And I argue with these points. Tonight, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean 
on your own understanding. Psalms 35 and 5, 37 and 5 say, commit your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will act. But then some, some, it is Charles Spurgeon who says to trust God in the light. And that's nothing but to trust him in the dark. That's faith. I'm going to say it again. Back up because y'all ain't got it. Listen tonight. Trust God in the light. That's nothing. Watch this. But to trust him. In the dark, that's faith. I need you tonight to go ahead to the trusting tonight in the dark. Because guess what? God is our, our, our light tonight. Come here. Here's the last point and we can go home. This is what I've been trying to get to. The preeminent, preeminent power of God. What do you mean preeminent? I'm talking about that word preeminent means over and above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preeminent. Yeah. Over, over and above. Well, if I had my picture tonight, I know y'all can see it online, yeah. but tonight y'all see the earth. And that picture of the earth tonight shows the earth being round. Yeah, yeah. And God is able to sit above, meaning he's preeminent, pre preeminent, meaning he's the power uh -huh. above. Yeah, yeah, and since he sits up here, yeah. that means he has oh. all power. Yeah. I'm shouting right now. Yeah. The text says, I will even make a road in the wilderness. Can I explain this and we can go to the house? Between the captivity in Babylon, the return to Israel lay hundreds of miles of wilderness. Yes. And God's people didn't need to be afraid uh -huh. because God would make a road well. in the wilderness yeah. and provide mm -hmm. rivers in the desert. Yeah. Check this out tonight. Well, the wilderness can be a dangerous place. Uh, it can be a place where no one receives food. Yeah. Where no one receives water. Yeah. Uh -huh. But God told us tonight. What? What? He says, I'll make a road well, in, your, in your wilderness. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there will be somebody tonight that's shouting. Amen. Because You've been traveling down a dark and a dangerous road. And I need to tell you tonight that God has a road with your name on it. And you ain't got to travel this road by yourself. Get in there, Carter. He says, yes, I will stream uh, in this wasteland. He says, I'll give you rivers in the wasteland. And I went to shouting on rivers because he didn't say just water. Yeah. Well, he said, I'll give you rivers. Mm -hmm. And y'all know that rivers stretch a mighty long yeah. way. Yeah. So I'm shouting about my River. rivers tonight yeah. because God says that I got some water that'll never go out. Yeah. I got some water that you will never ever be thirsty ever again. And I want to tell somebody tonight, you can go ahead and stand on your feet tonight. You can go ahead and shout tonight. You can go ahead and rest easy tonight. You can go ahead and rejoice tonight. You can go ahead and laugh at your enemies tonight because God literally got a road in your wilderness. God got some rivers of water for you in your wasteland. And I need to tell you tonight, is there anybody that want to experience God's power? Yeah. If you want to experience God's power tonight, yeah. go ahead and stand on your feet yeah. and begin telling the Lord, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Yeah. 
thank you, Lord, for supplying me with all of my needs. And I'm just reminded that Moses was here. Moses was saved right there at the burning bush. He supplied all of my needs. If Job was here, Job would say, he supplied all of my needs. If uh, Zacchaeus was here, Zacchaeus would say, he supplied all of my needs. But maybe I can just call on your name tonight. Alex, maybe he supplied all of your needs. Rabbit Carter, maybe he supplied all of your needs. Is there anybody can shout on Jesus tonight? What about Jesus? What did Jesus do? He took nails in his hand. He took spikes in his feet. He took a spear in his side. He took a crown of thorns on his head. Then he died. But can I tell you something? He did stay dead. But he got up. He got up. With all power in his hand. Now can I ask you a question? Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right?